y'all this is chef shay happy friday um so today i'm going to be making fajitas vegetable fajitas no meat because i'm on this kick of trying to eat more clean and eat more vegetables and so i really like mexican inspired dishes so i decided to say okay i don't want to give that taste up but we're going to do it with vegetables and two of my products we're going to use, we're going to use the Divine Cuisine Sugar Spice and we're going to do use the Divine Cuisine Romalot as a drizzle. So let's get started on how I make these vegetable, no meat fajitas. Okay, y'all, so I'm getting ready to marinate these mushrooms. Um, I have a baby portobello mushrooms. And so I'm gonna go ahead and marinate them and then I'm going to set them to the side and then we're gonna season our vegetables. So it's real it's real easy and I do this just to kind of give it more of a meaty flavor because you know portobello mushrooms are more of a meatier um, mushroom. So I have some Worcestershire sauce. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of the Worcestershire sauce in here. Don't worry, I'll have the measurements of the recipe on my site. I have some um, hoisin sauce. So I'm put a little bit of that, and you don't want to put a lot because it's kind of salty and the Worcestershire sauce, and you don't want to over salt that. So that's probably like like a half a teaspoon, just a half a teaspoon of this. And then we are going to put a little bit of pepper. You know, I like seasoned pepper. So I'm put a little bit of this. All this is going to probably be a half a teaspoon, a pinch of salt, because all those kind of have salt in them. And then I have some fresh grated ginger that I grated up or chopped up, grated. I'm not necessarily grated, but minced up. That's the word, minced up. And then I'm just gonna stir all this together. And I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna set it to the side so it can kinda you know, get some of that flavor in that before we put it on the flat grill. I brought out my flat top today and I put it on the stove and then we're gonna just cook all the vegetables in there so this is a real easy recipe you know vegetarian somewhat uh friendly so that is done so i'm gonna go ahead and set that to the side and then I'm, we're gonna go ahead and season our season our vegetables a little bit of grapeseed oil on the flat top i'm gonna just brush it around a little bit it's starting to get a little warm I'm gonna go ahead and put these vegetables on there. So I just brush that. And then I'm gonna take my portobellos. I know we have the portobellos sitting there. It's not real, real hot, but it's hot enough. So we're gonna let those cook right there. And then we're gonna take the seasoned vegetables that we had and we're gonna put them right next door. And then I'm just gonna put a top over this and I'm gonna let these cook to kind of soften a little bit and then I'll check them. So we're gonna just put a little, just have this little top and I'm gonna let them steam, you know, kind of soften and glaze up and then we'll come back. Okay, y'all, so I have some um, fresh black beans that I made. Um, I'm not really making, doing can right now. I'm just trying to be as healthy as possible. So I just went and got the fresh um, beans, made some black beans with it. But now we're gonna mash them up. We're gonna do like mashed black beans for the uh, fajitas. I'm probably not gonna use all of these. Um, I'm gonna use some of them. I'm gonna turn this on. So we're gonna just let this heat up for a minute. Um, and then I'm gonna just smash them up with this potato smasher. And then that will be our black beans. Check on them, and they're doing well. Let's cook in. The vegetables are doing well. It smells really good, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on. I just want to check, make sure nothing's burning, make sure everything is okay. So we're gonna go ahead. The mushrooms will probably be a little ready before the vegetables. We're gonna go ahead and put the top back on. Smash up these black beans kind of like refry a 
little bit. They're not technically refried though, because you have to use oil, but I'm not using oil. I'm just gonna smash them up. And I've already seasoned them. I think I have a video on how I season these, but I just put um, garlic in them. I had a vegetable, vegetable bouillon. I put a little chili powder, onion powder, and I believe I had a little cumin in here and salt and pepper. So these are nice and smashed. So we will layer those when we get ready to do our fajitas. Or you can eat these on the side, it's up to you, but we're gonna put them in our fajitas. Okay, y'all, so the portabella should be done now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take those off and check the peppers. Okay, now the portabellas are done. They're nice and soft. And caramelized. And then let me check out the peppers. We're getting there. I'm going to put a little bit of water just to deglaze the, the bottom. Just to deglaze it a little bit here. But these are coming along good as well. They're getting soft. So I'm going to stay about two more minutes and they should be okay. Shrimps and peppers that we will put on our fajitas. Okay, y'all, so I'm getting ready to um, heat up some corn tortillas on the flat top, get them just a little pliable, and then we're going to assemble our uh, fajita. Is it on right? Okay, y'all, so we're getting ready to make, we've already done all our vegetable, you know, uh, cook those, we did our black beans, and so now I'm gonna make a roasted red pepper salsa to go on top, and then we're gonna go ahead and assemble. So I have some tomatoes, I have a yellow onion, I have some cilantro, I have my roasted red peppers, I have a little bit of lime juice and salt. So we're gonna get ready to make this salsa. Cream or something that you use on your fajita. And you're gonna use the, cause you know the rum lot is universal. So we're gonna put a little bit of that on there. And then we're gonna put our salsa. Lastly. Okay, so we finished our vegetable fajitas. Yum, yum, yum to your tum, tum, tum. I cannot wait to eat these nice vegetable fajitas made with my Divine Cuisine Romalot sauce as one of the creaminess. And for the vegetables, I sweetened a little bit, a tad bit with the Divine Cuisine sugar spice. So I can't wait to go in and taste. Okay, y'all, so now I'm getting ready to taste my veggie uh, fajitas. Mmm. This is all in there. This is good, y'all. And am I just saying that? I don't even miss the meat. I'm gonna taste a little more. One more bite. I'm gonna get a paper towel. Okay. It's really good. The black beans really gave it to me. Maybe not miss that. And then the portobello mushrooms and the peppers. But I really like the black beans with. I you know, like my salsa because I gave it the acidity. My vegetables are good because it made me taste like I'm eating Mexican. You know, remember I put all the 
Mexican inspired um, spices in there. I mean, the aroma like gives it that real creaminess. Chef's kiss. It is so good. If you're just wanting something vegetables and no type of meat, this will be a great dish to eat. You'll be full, you'll be satisfied. To get this recipe, don't forget to go to divinecuisine.com. Don't forget to subscribe. We have exclusive deals that we're giving, you know, to our subscribers for our products, exclusive recipes. So go there and get this step-by-step -step recipe. Love y'all. Chef Shack.